The Law of Attraction, How It Works Written by Theo E. David and Presented by the Audio Bookshelf Although the Law of Attraction is well known, not everyone is familiar with its application. Many people have heard tales of individuals wishing for things to happen and then seeing those wishes come true, leading them to believe it is some sort of magic. However, we will teach you exactly how to employ the law of attraction. It is not magic, but it is a highly powerful universal law that has existed since the beginning of time. The law of attraction never goes away and always will exist. Since it cannot be avoided, why not use it to your advantage? You can accomplish this by listening to this audiobook and heeding the advice provided. We will explain the law of attraction's principles and methods in the first few chapters. Don't miss these chapters. They are crucial to understanding if you wish to exploit the power it provides. You need to be aware of the facts around this, as there are a lot of differing views on what it is and isn't. With this guide, you will discover just how to use the law of attraction in your life. A step-by-step -step procedure has been supplied to you. Yes, it will need some work on your part, and you must maintain consistency if you wish to manifest your desires, though this is well worth the effort. It's untrue if you've heard that all you have to do is concentrate on your desires a lot, and the universe will fulfill them. Action is a necessary additional component. Nothing good can ever come from thinking about something and then doing nothing to materialize it. More money and prosperity is a primary motivation for people seeking to learn about the law of attraction. We've devoted a whole chapter to outlining the necessary procedures for you to make this happen. There is truth to the law of attraction, and it functions. However, in order to achieve your goal, you must know how to use it correctly. After reading this book, you will have the law of attraction code, which you can use every day to attract whatever you desire. So, why hesitate? It's common knowledge that the law of attraction exists. However, from what we've seen, very few people truly understand what it is. They've seen the movie The Secret and think that's all it takes for wonderful things to come their way, believing the law of attraction will take care of the rest. That is not how things operate. Naturally, if individuals keep waiting and hoping without any results, they will soon come to the opinion that the law of attraction is ineffective. Indeed, it is effective, but not if all you do is sit around hoping that things will get better. Is it a magic spell? There is nothing magical about the law of attraction. Why are so many people of this opinion? Most likely, it's because they have heard tales of people who have won large sums of money in lotteries and created money out of thin air by applying the law of attraction. You cannot expect your life to change overnight by reading a book on the law of attraction and then chanting abracadabra. That is simply not going to occur. Making the law of attraction work for you requires effort, and most people naturally don't want to hear that. The idea that it is a magic spell that they may call upon whenever they like makes them feel much more at ease. The world would be considerably different from what it is today, and a lot more people would have used the law of attraction if it was magic. Thus, please put any notion that it might be magic out of your head at this moment. A common belief about the law of attraction is the phrase, when you believe strongly that something will happen, then it will happen. Isn't that a straightforward concept? However, the problem with this form of definition is that it leaves too many things unresolved. Does this imply that other things won't happen if you keep thinking about what you want to happen? What would happen if you unintentionally entertain negative thoughts? Here's an illustration. Assume for the moment that you have applied for a promotion at work. To make sure you get it, you're going to apply the law of attraction. However, you are not sure if you will obtain the promotion, even though you are hopeful about it. What does it leave you with then? In addition, there are other applicants for the promotion who are also aware of the law of attraction. How then does that work if they are also expecting it to happen? There is just one promotion that is offered. Can you see where this definition might be flawed? The four facets of the attraction law, it's time to discuss the facts. Here, we are going to tell you what has to happen in order for the law of attraction to benefit you. This has four components, and you will quickly see that wishing and thinking about something a lot won't make it work for you. One. Be crystal clear about what you want. The majority of people struggle with this. The vast majority of people you ask on the street will be unable to tell you what they truly want out of life. You need to be crystal clear about what you want in order for the law of attraction to function for you. 2. Consider it and request for it to occur. All laws apply, including the law of attraction. You must indeed consider your true desires and beg the universe to grant them to you. 
Later chapters will have further information on how this operates. 3. See yourself as having what you desire already. Some find it hard to understand this. You must picture having what you desire after deciding what you want and asking the universe to provide it to you. It must be experienced firsthand and must taste, feel, and be made extremely real. 4. Continue to think that it will occur. A key component of the law of attraction is belief. It is not a good idea to start worrying about potential outcomes. You have to stay on course and have a strong belief that you will get what you want. Don't allow any fear to surface. The law of attraction has been in existence for a very long period. You would be incorrect to believe that the law of attraction is some sort of novel concept. It is not new, even though widespread awareness of it is relatively recent. For generations, people have been preaching that a person's beliefs determine their fate. The law of attraction did not begin to get widespread recognition in the Western world until the 19th century. This was long before the law of attraction was known to people in other parts of the world. To start bringing about the changes they desired in their lives, people in the West first discovered the power of positive thinking. You are what you think, and you are a product of your thoughts, are undoubtedly phrases you have heard before. The Buddha was one of the first to offer this way of thinking, and it dates back centuries. Even though they were aware that the law of attraction was in effect, people in ancient societies were nonetheless aware of its effectiveness. To begin using the law of attraction, the first and most crucial step is to have faith in its effectiveness. Individuals who tell you it's absurd should not be taken seriously. For the law of attraction to operate for you, you must have complete faith in it. The true operation of the law of attraction will be elucidated in the upcoming chapter. Understanding how the law of attraction works is essential for you to be successful with it. The idea of like attracts like is the greatest approach to comprehending how the law of attraction operates. Every human being releases energy into the universe. There will be two possible levels of this energy, low and high. We will receive items connected to these low energy levels back if we are continuously releasing low energy levels into the universe. On the other hand, objects associated with high energy levels are drawn to high energy. It's all about vibrations. It is necessary to first understand the law of vibration in order to fully comprehend the universal law known as the law of attraction. You have to understand and accept that everything in the universe is always vibrating. Everything is always vibrating from the largest planet to the tiniest grain of sand. Our minds have developed to ignore this so that we can see a quiet, peaceful environment. In actuality, we would struggle mightily to cope with all that was buzzing around us. Thus, the noises, sights, and sensations associated with these vibrations have been suppressed. However, the items continue to vibrate. Colors are nothing more than vibrations at a particular frequency, as proved by scientists. You create your own reality in your mind and have undergone a conversion process to make life simple for you. Understanding that two objects are drawn to one another when they have a similar vibration frequency is the next step in realizing the existence of the law of vibration. You are always vibrating at various frequencies into the universe with your consciousness. Your ideas determine your fate. Because like attracts like, you will attract what you want if you emit the correct vibrations at the correct frequency. For the universe to manifest what you desire, you must be in sync with it. In summary, Everything that has occurred in your life, whether good or bad, was drawn to your vibrations. What you focus on is what you are and what you have. Your destiny is determined by your thoughts. Your life will therefore be negative if your thoughts are negative. Take into consideration the following human emotions that resonate positively with the universe to better understand this. Being joyful, being passionate, being excited, having an abundant mindset, being proud, being self-confident, and showing affection to others. Positive and higher energy vibrations are what you will experience when you go through these emotions. Now let's examine the feelings that radiate bad energy into the universe. Feeling disappointment, living a life of solitude, thinking that you are lacking things in your life, being sad, being tense, having a disorganized mind, being angry, and feeling pain. The idea here is that the universe will deliver you more misery because it thinks that is what you want if you are constantly in pain, that is, pain about your life as opposed to physical pain. More things to be enthusiastic about will be sent your way by the universe if you lead a passionate life. 
So, what do you get out of all of this? To effectively apply the law of attraction, you must alter the way your mind functions. If you are someone who is always complaining about everything, you should stop doing this right away because you will just get more complaints. Tune your mind to change your destiny. Though it is not based on hope, the law of attraction is effective. It all comes down to believing that the law will serve your interests and engaging in appropriate communication with the universe. Your relationship with the universe is crucial, and the stronger that connection is, the more in tune your mind will be. Consider the law of thinking about the law of attraction. The law of attraction and your success both depend on having the correct kind of thinking. You will discover in this book how to use the law of attraction methodically so that you may actually bring abundance into your life. Because your brain is so strong, you will follow the road that your mind desires for you to go. Your ideas and your intellect are the source of everything that you currently own or lack in your life. To manifest your desires, you must focus on them and allow the law of attraction to assist you. It all comes down to consistently sending out high energy and great vibes to the universe. But sitting around wishing will not get you there. It is pointless to hope. You must have a strong sense of what you want and a sincere belief that you will succeed in achieving it. Subjective thinking you must convert from objective to subjective thinking if you want to maximize the effects of the law of attraction. What makes a difference, in other words, is objective thinking holds that something exists only if you can see, hear, touch, smell, etc. When we think subjectively, we accept something as true before we see it. For instance, you might think that you will get the promotion before you do, and that belief comes true. Thinking subjectively is similar to dreaming. For the law of attraction to be effective for you, you will need to practice shifting from objective to subjective thinking. You need to realize that your thoughts are what manifest as reality in this world. This does not imply that objects outside of your awareness do not exist. Rather, it only means that they are present. Not only can we alter our dreams, but we can also alter our reality by effectively utilizing the law of attraction. We shall discuss the default process and the need to overcome it in the upcoming chapter so that the law of attraction can benefit you. You have probably devoted a significant amount of time and effort to trivial and inconsequential things ever since you were a little child. This accumulates over time, and before you know it, these unimportant things are actually in charge of your life. We refer to this as the default process, and to stop it, you must drastically alter your way of thinking. Have you ever believed that a particular circumstance was beyond you? Or did you feel helpless to take action on a circumstance that was significantly affecting your life? Here, you are not by yourself. This is what most people do, and the issue with that is that you give up control of your life when you do this. The law of attraction conflicts with this. You must regain control if you want to actually create a law of attraction code that serves you well for the rest of your life. Instead of letting the default process control your life, you need to start concentrating on the things that are crucial to your growth. It is all about belief. Because belief is so crucial, we have already discussed it several times in this book and will do so in the future. Here's an illustration of how having a strong belief may help you win the day. Consider a situation where you wish to take action but lack the necessary funds. This could involve going on a global tour or spending money on training to pick up new abilities. What it is doesn't matter. Individuals who give in to the default approach will soon realize that their lack of finances prevents them from doing everything they want. They'll give up on the concept and pursue something else that won't advance their lives. However, a sincere believer and subjective thinker won't focus too much on their lack of money. They'll concentrate on obtaining their desired outcome by applying the law of attraction. People will bring this object into their lives by seeing it already there. You might be thinking at this time that it is not practical for you to accomplish this since you don't have the necessary funds. That must be it, right? Here, we're asking you to adopt a new perspective in which you assume you already possess the resources necessary to carry out the action you truly desire. Visualize the money in your bank account using visualization techniques, then feel the satisfaction of having it there. One of the possible outcomes is that you apply for a loan and are so confident that you already have the money that you get your loan approved. The staff at the bank or other financial institution will sense your high energy and powerful good vibrations and will be confident in your capacity to pay back the loan. Individuals who adhere to the standard procedure won't radiate a lot of energy or intensely favorable vibrations. 
they might decide not to apply for a loan at all since they lack confidence in their chances of approval. In the unlikely event that they submit an application, they will give the wrong impression and most likely be rejected. Intensify your thought process. Increasing the intensity of your thoughts is essential if you want the law of attraction to truly function for you. You must go from thinking objectively to thinking subjectively and come to believe that you already possess what you desire. An ardent follower of the law of attraction never allows their default mode to control their existence. They are the center of everything that goes on around them and have complete control over it. One thing you have to do is adjust to seeing beyond the default procedure. You will be rewarded in the end, but it will require time and effort. In the upcoming chapter, we'll talk about luck and opportunities. Have you ever turned down an opportunity because you thought it was too tiny to merit it? Or was it just that you were too lazy to look into it and do something about it? People often complain that they don't have enough opportunities to live better lives and achieve their goals. Their assumption that their current job is all there is significantly limits them. Opportunities abound in every direction. Having some free time to engage in a pastime or make extra money is another possibility. It's not a lack of options that prevents you from living the life you want. Saying no is what most people do when presented with possibilities. We want you to begin accepting any or all of these possibilities by responding yes. This does not imply, however, that we wish for you to be duped or anything similar. Saying yes means you're willing to investigate the possibility to determine whether or not it's right for you. Some of these little opportunities grow into much bigger opportunities. When you have the law of attraction working in your favor, those who possess these opportunities are aware that the majority of people will simply decline them. However, they can go further when they find a supportive person who says yes. Always take advantage of opportunities when they present themselves. These days, we have this amazing resource called the internet, where you can take a few minutes to look into an offer and determine whether or not it is legitimate. In any case, avoid getting advice from friends or family. It sounds dodgy to them, and they will tell you that it is a waste of time. Unless they are as positive-minded as you, they claim to be attempting to protect you. But of course, they have no knowledge of it. Even while the idea of protection is consoling, people don't always mean what they say. You don't need their protection to look at an opportunity because you are an adult. The majority of these people think that everyone should have a job and are under the influence of the default process. It's not just about money in life. There are countless opportunities. Money is not the only factor. You should use the opportunity to meet new individuals if you come across one. You simply have no idea where this may go. If you're single, these new people may introduce you to your soulmate. It has previously occurred, and it will do so in the future. Everything is achievable. If you use the law of attraction in your life, you'll start to radiate more energy and more positive vibes into the universe, and you'll draw in a lot more than you did previously. All of it, excitement, wealth, love, and happiness, is waiting for you. How about luck? This is a timeless tale that could resonate with you. Someone calls your name when you are parked in the mall car park. You went to school with this girl, but you haven't seen her in a long time. She is dressed to the nines and is stepping out of an opulent supercar. She is accompanied by a really attractive man, who you later learn is her spouse. She informs you that she and her husband have a highly profitable business. Throughout your conversation, she mentions that her home is in a section of town you could only imagine living in. You can see that she is well off and that her life is going in the right direction. And how do you feel about it all? Many individuals will say something like, she has always been lucky. You are unaware that a few years prior, she was living with her partner in a beat-up automobile and had very little money. They had only recently opened their business, so not much money was flowing in. They had little when they first launched the company, but they moved quickly. You must do the same thing that she did. Make your own fortune. We are not arguing against the existence of luck. Even if some people do win the lottery, they still need to purchase a ticket and select a few numbers. There is very little likelihood that you will be sitting at home wishing for a significant change in your life. You must show the universe that you are a worthy recipient of your desired outcome if you want the law of attraction to operate for you. It will never help you attract something valuable if you sit around doing nothing at home and believe that everything is against you. It will just draw you greater suffering. You must demonstrate to the universe your willingness to seek out and seize opportunities. 
If you are presented with an opportunity, you should take it further and move forward if everything seems to be in order. Don't sit around waiting for things to happen, and don't even consider chance when determining your future. We'll walk you through applying the law of attraction step by step in the upcoming chapter. Here are the instructions all right. Here is the time you have been looking forward to. We're about to provide you the instructions you need to follow to greatly raise your chances of success with the law of attraction. These techniques will help you develop subjective thinking and mind tuning. They have proven effective for the majority of people. It is unrealistic to expect immediate benefits from this, although this has happened and might happen to you. Please pay close attention to these instructions, as learning the law of attraction generally requires time and effort. 1. You must be clear about what you want. The majority of people are unsure of their goals in life. Some folks are really clueless. You need to have clear objectives and justifications for your wants to establish a connection with the universe. Even while you might not be a huge fan of goal setting, it does work because it provides you with a laser-like focus, which is essential when using the law of attraction. Setting goals is disliked by some individuals who believe it is too difficult to accomplish. You'll find that writing down your goals is rather simple if you follow this procedure. Using a sheet of paper, draw a vertical line down the center. Please write down your desires on the left side and your dislikes on the right. Include a justification for your desire or reluctance for the events to occur in your writing on each side. Starting with the things you don't desire will most likely be beneficial. You should be able to get these more readily. Consider, for instance, the things you would prefer not to have when it comes to money. You don't want to worry that you can't provide for your kids or your life partner financially. Debt is the last thing you want. Working excessive hours could cause you to miss out on family time. It is not anything you should be worrying about. It is not something you want to do forever, wearing the same old clothing and so forth. You can now change these negative comments into positive desires in the left-hand column by putting what you do want next to what you have previously written. As an illustration, you may write, I want to be completely debt-free next to, I don't want to be in debt. For each, what you don't want statement you have written on the right side of the page. Repeat these steps since they are the exact opposite of what you don't want. You should find this to be rather simple to accomplish. Consider why you want something when you write down your desires. The reason for this is that it will arouse sensations in you, and you'll be able to examine those positive emotions, which will motivate you to keep going toward your objective. It will also improve your connection to the universe and give the objective a deeper significance. Take your time completing this goal-setting activity. Accuracy is crucial. Keep your list of objectives close at hand at all times. At first, you will need to frequently consult your target sheet, which will motivate you to take the required action. You will send the correct signals to your subconscious mind, which will then send them to the universe by making a list of your goals and giving each one powerful sensations. Your vibrations will be much more positive, and your energy emissions will increase. 2. Add a time dimension to your goals. Your objectives are starting to take shape. You've expressed your desires and your motivations in writing. You must now include a reasonable time limit for each aspiration to materialize. Though your desired date may not materialize on the day you write it down, if you are realistic and follow the other steps, it shouldn't be too far off. This is because the law of attraction works in mysterious ways. You might even experience it earlier. Here, realism is crucial. Setting next Thursday as your goal to be debt-free is not realistic if you have a lot of debt. That would be more reasonable after a year. It is feasible to pay off debt quickly by employing specific tactics. All right, so you now know what your objectives are and when you'd like them to come true. Your use of the law of attraction is off to a fantastic start. You need to have patience and faith that this will be beneficial to you. It will also require you to take further action. 3. Use positive affirmations. Now that you know how effective affirmations may be, you should compile a list of statements that encourage you to pursue your objectives. Each affirmation should be written as though the objective has already been accomplished in the present. Therefore, the affirmation that goes along with the objective, I want to be debt-free, is, I am completely debt-free. You must be ready to repeat your affirmations aloud or mentally regularly. This implies as often as possible, at least once a day. It's best to do this right before bed and right after you get up. Why? Repeating your affirmations as soon as you get up will prepare you for a day full of activities. You might dream about your affirmations at night. 
After some time, your affirmations will begin to enter your subconscious. That's precisely what you desire. Your subconscious will give you the appropriate focus because it is in constant communication with the universe. It will assist you in altering any constrained beliefs that are giving rise to unfavorable ideas. This is crucial since having pessimistic ideas will make you feel empty inside. 4. Time to take the correct action. You'll be disappointed if you're one of those folks who think the law of attraction would just magically grant you whatever you desire without any effort on your part. To achieve your goals, you must behave consistently. The rationale for this is that every action you take will get you one step closer to your objective, and your subconscious mind will take advantage of this to keep sending the universe the correct energies and vibrations. Keep your objectives front of mind at all times and be mindful of the emotions they arouse in you. Think about how each choice makes you feel if you need to make a decision related to one of your goals. Make the choices that feel right to you. The universe will constantly provide you with more if you genuinely believe in the law of attraction. You won't ever miss out on an opportunity. Thus, you can feel secure in the fact that your feelings are correct. Success may not necessarily follow from working nonstop and making big decisions. Working shrewdly and acting only on your gut feelings are essential. Your objectives should be broken down into daily tasks that you work on each day. Most tasks can typically be completed more quickly, and astute people are always able to identify them. Adopt a methodical, systematic approach. You can never predict with certainty the precise actions you must do. So don't worry about it if something isn't working. Give it another go. It truly will work for you if you continue to have trust in the law of attraction. You may prevent any vibrations from your subconscious mind from weakening and decaying by always remembering your goals and working toward achieving them. There will be a decline in the signals given to the universe if these vibrations worsen. It's not only about taking action, though it is necessary to investigate whether you are being held back by any limiting ideas. 5. Identify limiting beliefs. Everybody has deeply held beliefs. Some will be of good use to us, while others won't. You picked up a lot of knowledge from your parents and individuals in your immediate vicinity when you were a child. You probably need to let go of an ingrained limiting idea if your parents insisted on telling you again and over that money was the root of all evil. Through the subconscious, you can substitute different assertions for these limiting beliefs. Here, affirmations can be helpful. You can make affirmations like, I love money and money loves me, or money will enable me to help others if you have any unfavorable thoughts about money. If you want the law of attraction to take full effect in your life, you must recognize and eliminate these limiting beliefs. We'll talk about using the law of attraction to the manifestation of riches and money in the upcoming chapter. Manifesting wealth and money The majority of individuals are drawn to the law of attraction because they think it would help them attract prosperity and money into their lives. For this, you can apply the law of attraction, but to succeed, you must understand how to apply it properly. We want you to know right away that the law of attraction applies to more than simply money. The law of attraction applies to every aspect of your life. Indeed, we wholeheartedly urge you to apply the law of attraction to enhance yourself and your life. However, since the topic of this chapter is manifesting prosperity and money, let's concentrate on that. Decide on what you really want when using the law of attraction, clarity is power. Do you have dreams of financial freedom and fortune but are never quite sure what you want? Many individuals do. When using the law of attraction to materialize your objectives, this is a key mistake. Thus, you must specify the precise amount of money you wish to have. This is simple if the amount of money is small. All you have to do is request a certain sum, like $250,000, $500,000, or $1 million, or any other quantity that suits your needs. If you're wishing for something else, like a house or a fancy car, you'll have to be very specific about what you want, including the precise color and type of the car and how it would look. How are you going to get this money? The idea that you can use the law of attraction to receive anything for nothing is one of the most common misconceptions about it. This is not accurate. Giving is necessary for receiving. The universe functions in this way. The wealthiest people on the planet have often become wealthy by helping others, and you must take that action. The law of attraction will only assist you in reaching your goals where others will be unable to. Set a reasonable timetable for yourself. If you're hoping to raise $500,000, that might happen in six months or a year. 
the week after next is not feasible. Recall that the law of attraction is not a supernatural force. Setting a date can help focus your subconscious mind, which is necessary if you want this to happen. All right, so you need to figure out how you're going to make this money. On the internet, a lot of people have made a lot of money by teaching others how to do the same. To serve individuals online for payment is possible. Give them something of worth, and they will reciprocate. It is not required to be available online. You may start a new restaurant or base any type of enterprise around a hobby of yours. You could cultivate and market organic food if it piques your interest. This will draw a lot of interest. Here, use caution and conduct some study. When you are connecting with the universe, be explicit about what you are going to do once you have made up your mind to do this. The ideal method is to write everything down on paper. Don't skip this step since it is very critical. Writing down aspirations or objectives can be counterproductive to some, but it can be a useful tool for directing subconscious thought patterns. You must provide the details we have already covered, including the amount of money, the deadline, and your plan of action for earning the money. Thus, you may write something along these lines. I am quite appreciative of the universe because by June 30th, 2020, I will have $500,000, and I will be able to earn this amount with ease by giving a lot of value to others on the internet. I will be able to make this money. They will learn from me how to succeed online. My income will increase in direct proportion to the number of people I can assist. I picture myself holding the money. I can see it all with my eyes, and I can even smell it with my nose. I genuinely think I have $500,000, and I am appreciative. I'm grateful, universe. I'm grateful, universe. You should carry your message to the universe with you, at all times, once you have written it down. Writing is preferable to typing on a computer, but if that's how you choose to do things, constantly refer to your universe statement. You have to read your statement from the universe each day. It is advisable that you read it more than once, and that you do it both right before bed and in the morning. Whether you read it aloud or silently is irrelevant. The emotion you read it with is what really counts. As you read your statement, put every aspect in your mind. Imagine yourself offering the service you mentioned, followed by a copy of your bank statement showing the full amount of money in your account. To truly become proficient in visualization, you will need to put in some effort and persevere with it. Think and act as if you are already wealthy. You must think of yourself as already wealthy if you wish to send the universe the proper energy and vibrations. This does not imply going on a spending binge and depleting your bank account completely. All you have to do is behave as someone who is wealthy would. You must speak favorably and have an optimistic outlook on money. Give up thinking and uttering things like, I'm broke, and I don't have money. Change this to something like, I am so grateful that I am rich. I love money, and it loves me. Or, I am a natural magnet for money and attract it easily. You should behave in the same way as wealthy individuals since they employ specific tactics to make and keep money. They create many streams of income and always focus on producing money rather than spending it. They have an abundant vocabulary and are giving. They always have a plan of escape and are enthusiastic learners. Improve your relationship with money and wealth. Never assume that material goods and possessions are unimportant or unimportant. To improve your connection with money, you want to brain in your subconscious the idea that it matters. You should address any negative thoughts you may have regarding money straight away. The universe will continue to give you a shortage if you keep thinking about not having enough money. Thank God for all the money you currently possess. Talk to it and express your gratitude for having it. You should alter your limiting beliefs. If you think that wealthy people are somehow terrible, give up on the notion that poverty is a good thing and that money is the source of all evil. Sayings such as, there is always somebody worse off than me, should be avoided. Consider the positive things you can achieve with money. You have the freedom to go wherever you want, to feed your family well, to donate liberally to those in need, and to consume the cleanest meals. Pay attention to the positive things you can accomplish. Witness the joy on your family members' faces as you provide them with financial support. Have faith that riches are a wonderful thing and that it is what the universe wants for you. Your ability to communicate with the universe is crucial, and the more you do this, the more likely it is that you will create the wealth and money that your heart genuinely desires. Create a plan. Every successful person has a strategy. It is not required to contain every last detail, in contrast to certain business plans. 
Once you have manifested the desired initial amount, you can create this later. You should at the very least have a straightforward plan for the ensuing year and the following five years. You must divide this into months, weeks, and days for the first year. Making a daily action plan will motivate you to get things done and overcome procrastination. In the case of the internet, your goals might be to design your website in a week, produce your first product in two weeks, begin product promotion in three weeks, and have your first client by the end of the month. In the second month, you will aim to increase your clients and begin developing your second product. It is possible to divide all of these items into daily tasks. Keep a daily journal with you where you may jot down everything. Make it a point to complete every daily activity you set for yourself. There will always be adjustments to be made to stay on course because no plan is flawless. However, if you don't have a strategy, you'll just float through life without purpose, which will prevent you from manifesting the money you desire. Work on developing strong beliefs the universe will not grant you money if you do not think you can manifest the amount you desire. You must have complete confidence in your abilities and your plans. Yes, there will be challenges to conquer, but if you have complete faith, they will be simple to overcome. You will discover that the self-made millionaires had unwavering faith in what they were doing if you read their success stories. They were motivated to succeed because they had faith in their ability to accomplish. With Microsoft, Bill Gates is an excellent example. In his vision, computers would be in every home and his software would be the source of their power. He would never have invented Microsoft Windows, and the state of computing today would be drastically different if he hadn't had such a strong belief. How then can you reach the stage of genuine belief in yourself? You need to constantly remind yourself that you are capable of succeeding. What you have and who you are are products of your thinking. Thus, keep telling yourself this over and over. Pronounce it out loud. I'm going to succeed. These affirmations will be progressively absorbed by your subconscious mind, propelling you ahead. Don't anticipate miracles after doing this once. Make it a regular occurrence. The law of attraction and positive thinking go hand in hand. Daily use of wealth affirmations will help you develop incredibly strong beliefs over time. Be grateful for money and wealth be extremely appreciative of the money you now have because gratitude is such a strong emotion. Express it frequently. Remember your financial situations and express gratitude for them. If you've never had a lot of money, consider the impact it would have on your life and express your gratitude for it. By expressing thanks, you are projecting high energy and positive vibrations that will be acted upon by the law of attraction. Thus, whenever you have money, give these signals often and constantly express your sincere gratitude. It is not important how you achieve your wealth. It is natural that you will think a lot about how you are going to make all of this happen when you are making plans for the future. It is critical that you realize that no one who became wealthy through self-employment was aware of the precise actions they needed to perform in order to draw in the riches and money they desired. You will get the direction you require if you have a broad goal and are in good communication with the universe. Have complete faith that it will occur. You don't have to think about the specifics of how you're going to do this. Simply have faith that you will. Visualize already having the money and wealth. One ability you must cultivate is the ability to visualize. This is something you should include in your everyday routine. The concept is that you should visualize yourself as already possessing the money you want. Observe, feel, and inhale it. These senses will intensify the visuals. Picture yourself taking a bath with $100 bills. It sounds crazy, but it's not. Simply picture yourself surrounded by wealth. Save these pictures as long as you can. Visualization is an extremely potent tool that will send the universe the correct vibrations and high energy levels. Take out the money, but not really. Envision being able to purchase anything you desire. Make sure you instill this in your brain by visiting online retailers and filling your cart with anything you desire. However, do not proceed to the checkout process. Financial resources must be allocated towards your mental desires. Give this a genuine feel. Take a test drive in the new vehicle you've been eyeing. Wearing pants and a t-shirt in the showroom is not appropriate. Put on your finest attire. Inquire about cash discounts and delivery schedules. Savor the happiness that comes with prosperity and money. Your signals to the universe will get stronger the stronger you can make this experience. Then you will benefit from the law of attraction. Gift to receive giving brings about receiving. 
You can manifest money with the aid of this life law. Offer assistance to friends, family, and those in need. When you donate money to others, no matter how little, you should feel as though you have plenty and can easily help those in need. If you follow this, the universe will see to it that you continue to receive money. The following chapter will cover how to deal with obstacles and setbacks. There will be many obstacles for you to overcome as you set out on your new life path using the law of attraction. To maintain your high energy levels and send the correct messages to the universe, you must appropriately address these. Handling failure on your journey, you will occasionally run into failure. It is possible that you engage in a business opportunity and it is not successful for you. Alternatively, let's say you attend a high-paying job interview but are unsuccessful. You might approach a possible partner in your social life and they reject you. Whatever the circumstances, this is all a failure. What then will you do in this circumstance? Give up and accept that the law of attraction operates differently than what most people would assume. It is highly advised that you refrain from doing that. We do advise you to get back on your horse and give it another go. What would you do if you failed at something? After taking what knowledge you can from the setback, go on. Think of every mistake you made as an opportunity to grow personally. Now try again. You truly never fail if you are persistent like this and never give up. You're trying a lot of new activities that you haven't done before. If things don't go as planned, view it as a teaching moment rather than a failure. Failure is something bad, but learning is a good thing. It is very unlikely that you will become fluent in a new language on the first day of study. After weeks of study, you may encounter someone who speaks the language well and wants to put you to the test. Not everything goes according to your plan, and occasionally the other person doesn't grasp what you're saying. In this scenario, a lot of people would feel extremely embarrassed and want to give up. However, you are not this way. When you want to say anything to someone, you ask them how to pronounce the words. They provide you with advice and advise you to substitute alternative words for this one. On your path to learning the language, this is an invaluable experience. After this, you continue to send the universe positive energy. You'll learn from every experience that things don't go as planned, so that it happens again. To become stronger from all of your experiences, good and bad, you must build resilience. Use repetition if, as a man, you ask 10 women out on dates and they all say no, you try again with 10 more. One will respond with a yes. It doesn't matter whether your friend consistently gets a date with the first several ladies he approaches. Continue doing this until you achieve success. Send in 10 more applications if you're not selected for a higher paid job after submitting 10 initial ones. Regardless of the number of applications you need to submit to land the job you want, the outcome will be well worth the extra time and work. When Walt Disney was seeking funding for his Disneyland concept, more than 300 banks turned down his application. Some of the banks told him the notion was stupid and that it would never work. He continued to meet with banks, though, and the rest is history. Don't succumb to your comfort zone your inner self. Who are you on the inside? In essence, it is your consciousness. Everything about this has to do with your thoughts and how you act on them. The law of attraction begins to operate in your favor after you have this down pat. The first step in using the law of attraction to materialize your wishes is changing the way you think. Your consciousness, or inner self, is the source of all of your thoughts, and this guide has gone into great length about how you think. Your outer self it all boils down to the action or behavior you choose. What action do you take in response to the particular thought that your inner self has generated? A healthy balance between your ideas and your actions is necessary for the law of attraction to work for you. Finding the correct balance, what does this all mean then? Therefore, you must adhere to this very basic idea if you want the law of attraction to truly operate for you. Put your ideas into practice. Your thoughts about what you want out of life need to be backed by actions that align with those desires. This is an illustration of a common practice. They sit and consider how much money they want to make over the course of the upcoming year. This is fantastic because you are sending the universe a lot of energy and powerful, wonderful vibrations in response to these thoughts. The universe adjusts the alignment so that you can experience this. However, it then expects you to move toward this desire with some activity. You will not be able to manifest your wish if you do nothing to maintain a healthy equilibrium between your inner and outside selves. You must act on your thoughts right away. 
This could be as simple as listing the actions you plan to take today to bring your dream to pass. Make sure you get started on these tasks. You will release even more positive energy into the universe when you begin to act on your thoughts. This lets the universe know that it needs to help you get closer to realizing your dreams. So, this is a clear message. You must act upon your thoughts. Most people only build their thoughts and beliefs with their inner selves. They will repeatedly express their desire for something to occur, but they lack the self-awareness to take any action. When you provide the appropriate signals to the law of attraction through your thoughts, it will align itself to materialize a desire for you. However, it can't make you do anything. It is up to you to decide that. That explains why hope is always ineffective. You can increase your confidence and certainty that you will be able to affect the things and people around you to create your desires by using the law of attraction. But you will need to do the necessary steps for it to occur. We'll go over why the law of attraction doesn't apply to everyone in the upcoming chapter. You should be aware of the following two aspects of the law of attraction. One, it functions and is real. Two, you must use it appropriately. The law of attraction will harness the energy of the universe in a way that will manifest things for you. So, there's no denying its enormous power. However, if you do not take advantage of this alignment, the law of attraction will simply cause everything to line up perfectly for you to manifest what you desire. This was discussed in the previous chapter. It is insufficient to only wish for prosperity or to find the love of your life. You won't experience anything if you don't take any associated action. Even lottery winners need to purchase a ticket and then check to see if they have one. As we stated in a previous chapter, ensuring that the law of attraction works for you to make your desires come true, you must apply the law of attraction. Make sure to adhere to these three procedures to accomplish this. 1. Firm belief and faith that your desires will come to pass. Develop a strong belief in something and hold on to it despite everything that happens in your life. Your conviction must be unwavering. Two. Employ visual aids. Make visualization a daily habit. When you picture the outcome you wish to achieve, see yourself with it now. Feel what it is like to have this in your life. What is the sensation? Give it the most realism you can. 3. Use your inner voice. Your inner voice will communicate with you when you believe that you will actualize your desires. You must pay close attention to these messages and take prompt action upon them. Put your desires and the associated feelings down on paper to help you believe that they will come true. But differently, how does it make you feel to think that you have what you want in life? A minimum of once a day, consult this document, which you should always have on hand. Positive affirmations that it will happen can be used to counteract negativity if someone or something tries to make you doubt that this will happen to you. Sadly, there are plenty of negative individuals and things in the world that will try to convince you that your time is being wasted. If you are new to using visualization, practice it frequently until you master it. It's not that hard to do, and eventually, you'll discover that you can visualize whenever you want to. When you visualize, always make the feeling strong since this will help you communicate with the universe in the correct way. And lastly, you have to do something. This must have to do with realizing your dream. What can I do today to get closer to manifesting the things that I want? Should be your daily mantra. You can rely on your subconscious to generate ideas for actions. As soon as you have these thoughts, put them in writing and take immediate action. Creating your Law of Attraction Code We provide you with the greatest tips for creating your Law of Attraction Code in the last chapter. We've given you all the knowledge you need in this book to genuinely believe that the Law of Attraction operates and that it will benefit you. We've provided you with a methodical approach to using the law of attraction to bring your goals to life. To help you further with this, here are the best practices that we encourage you to follow to truly develop your law of attraction code. With this code in place, you will be able to use the law of attraction effectively whenever you need it. Make use of the law of attraction's four components. You must create your law of attraction code using the four components of the law of attraction. These four components are 1. Clearly define what you want to manifest. 2. Give the universe your full attention and ask it to happen for you. 3. Visualize that you already have what you want to manifest. 4. Continue to have faith that your desires will come true. It is essential to have faith in the law of attraction's efficacy and your ability to materialize your desires. Make your belief firm and unflinching. Understand how the law of attraction works to completely utilize the law of attraction 
you must have a thorough understanding of how it operates. This situation is consistent with the adage, like attracts like. You send vibrations to the universe, and everything in the universe vibrates as well. The universe will make sure you never have enough if there are negative statements like, I never have enough money. On the other hand, if you alter your vibration to one of positivity like, I will always have all of the money that I want, the universe will work in your favor to make this happen. Therefore, to create your objectives, you must tune your thoughts into the universe and send forth pleasant vibrations. Convert your thinking from being objective to being subjective. When you think subjectively, you accept something as true even before it happens. You believe that you already have a lot of money instead of needing proof from an impartial source. Avoid the default process the majority of individuals let life determine their fate. You have to take charge of your life and make a decision about your destiny to develop the Law of Attraction Code. Don't follow the default process that the majority of people use. Here, belief is crucial. If they lack the funds to fulfill an ambition, for example, someone who follows the default method will give up on it shortly. Because you have strong beliefs and are a subjective thinker, you will persevere when you adhere to the Law of Attraction Code. Say yes to opportunities you are surrounded by opportunities whether you recognize it or not. Say yes when an opportunity arises rather than consistently declining it. Saying yes to an opportunity means you're going to investigate it further. Saying no completely ends the opportunity. Bigger possibilities can come from smaller ones. Take advantage of the chance to network with new individuals. One can never predict where this might go. Make sure an opportunity feels good for you by doing your homework. Don't base your life's events on chance. Take charge of your destiny and make things happen for yourself. Thanks for listening and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and also click the small bell icon to receive a notification every time a new free audiobook has arrived. Thanks again.